you guys, I feel worse than I look. This whole entire week, I've been fighting off the flu. Imagine in this heat, I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't sleep during the day. It was just a lot. Even this morning when I woke up, my nostrils were still blocked. So I had to take a shower just to get them unblocked because, I mean, I have responsibilities and I have to run errands and they're not going to wait until I'm fine. Anyway, welcome to today's vlog. If you are new here, my name is Tiri MFK. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you like this vlog. I hope you subscribe. I hope you engage with my content. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. The support that I've been getting from so many of you is really, you know, appreciated. It doesn't go unnoticed. Um, I've reached, I think I'm on 350 subscribers already, which is very exciting and motivating. And, you know, I thought I was going to maybe get that number next year because I'm, I was just like, you know what, I'm not going to have high expectations of this. But I think, you know, it's the vlogs are doing so well in terms of views, in terms of, you know, the number of subscriptions. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Like, I love y'all. You guys are pushing me to keep doing this, you know. Um, and you actually contribute to how much I enjoy it. And I know some of you guys even text me to ask when is the next vlog when is the next vlog i haven't really committed to having schedules for my vlogs yet i think we'll do that next year but for now we just you know taking it easy so no pressure but the vlogs are coming if you don't want to miss out on any new uploads make sure you click on that notification button make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out so telefo is coming to visit us for the december holidays so i have to go pick him up at the airport he's actually been texting me since i think two days ago i think he was just really excited um and this morning he woke me up with a really sweet voice note and i'm just like oh my gosh you know hey auntie cd i just wanted to say hello today we it's saturday so I can go on the flight. Hope you get there. Bye. Love you. I feel the love. I love you, Fofo. <laughs> I know he watches my vlogs. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, One other thing I wanted to tell you is... So next week, it's Sandile's birthday. And, you know, he had a whole long wish list of what he wants for his birthday some of them really like so extra i think a lamborghini was there on his wish list <laughs> and i'm just like what yeah it's nice being a kid he asked to have a do-over of his birthday so a couple let me give you guys context a couple of years ago i think about four or five years ago um, we took him and Califor to Durban. So we were celebrating Sandile's birthday there. But then now, because they were still very young, they didn't really enjoy it as much. And some of the memories, I think, they might have faded. So Sandile asked for a do-over to celebrate his birthday in Durban again because now he's older. So yeah, that's where we're going next week. I'll be vlogging that experience, that whole entire trip. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, I'll keep you guys updated as and when we go. But, I mean, I have to get this hair out. I'm over these braids. I have to get the braids out. I have to get my nails done. I have to get my eyebrows threaded. I have to get my lashes done. I have to get a wax. I have to get my toes done. So there's a lot to be done in preparation for this trip because I just want to look cute and feel good in my own skin stay tuned i love you guys thanks again enjoy <laughs>
Classy, fuck this world Forever, I'm that girl The two diamonds and pearl Oh, baby, I'm too classy to be touched I pick them all in dust I'm still here with my love Oh, baby, you are of one I'm number one I'm the only one don't even waste your time trying to compete with me no one else in this world can think like me I'm twisted hi papa how are you <laughs> guys it's a new day and as part of preparing myself for the upcoming trip I've decided to take swimming lessons I mean my swimming skills are not bad they're not horrible but I just don't have a good relationship with water because I remember when I was young I had an almost drowning experience and ever since then I've just been so traumatized of water so even now i'm just so nervous ah but then the reason i'm going i just want to be comfortable in water i want to enjoy myself with the kids on our trip and this needs to be done this is the first day of the lesson and yeah i'm so nervous like the thing that's happening in my stomach right now i just don't understand it but yeah you guys will see Hey, it might be a little bit awkward when things happen. <laughs> I remember the first time I tried this and water just kept getting in my mouth and my nose and I was just trying to be in control but also trying to learn. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, wish me luck, please. I know you guys are rooting for me. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're here. Whew, I feel like turning back. <laughs> but I can't. It's too late for me. I've already committed. Why could I make this But I guess the reason I'm here is to make sure that, you know, to make sure that I face this fear I have with water. Is it open? 
it sounds so quiet. I think there's gonna be other people here. There might be other ladies who are also here to train, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, are we at the wrong place? Okay, so we are a bit early. The pool's actually covered and there's no one here. I almost thought this place doesn't operate. But I just called the owner now and she said the lady who's going to give me the lesson is on her way. And she actually gave me like a quick Nyana talk just to motivate me and, you know, kind of make me relax. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I am so nervous. I'm excited to learn though, like I'm so excited, I, I want to learn, the thing I want to focus on is sculling, I want to be able to like, you know when you're in the water, in it, like in a deep water where you can't stand and you're just like moving your legs to stay afloat, I want to learn how to do that and I also want to learn how to dive like this, which I'm mostly scared of because then it means my feet will be up in the air and that's very uncomfortable Loki, all of them when they notice I'm not joking, all my guys them, them know me Since 06, I've been writing this story I know the OG, but if you ask them, them know me Yeah, not there. floating. For sculling for training or sculling for just movement in general? Just, yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where you at. Okay. And also, like, diving. Can you dive? <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> so scared of diving, and I, 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 that's what I want to learn. Okay, let me recap it. So, pretty much from sculling, diving, freestyle without the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started off with the very basics then. Go through all your basics and then we'll go up and back to go through what you want okay. as soon as possible. So you just need to start by, you can leave your goggles on or off, but we're actually just going to start by humming. Okay. Yeah, just hum. There we go. Hum. Your head. Which then makes the rest of your body more stable. Okay. So, head back. Oh, my. Just comfortable mm -hmm. and slow. Try to relax it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I will try. Okay. 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 Now, do that. Put the whole face in and touch your chin. Yes, like that. You can go when you're ready, Lindy. Now try and come out as long as you can. The goal is to hit 10 pounds, but go above it if you're comfortable enough. So do what? So pretty much put your face in mm -hmm. for up to 10 or more pounds. Okay. okay. Wherever you feel like, okay, this is enough, come up. Again, come 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. 11, 12. Stop counting up to 10. It was like 12. Okay. Great. Since you've gotten your hummy, we're actually going to try a back flip. Quite simple. You get your shoulders in first. All right. And head back. Close. And okay, let's just see where it is. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Really good. Also, that's a great face. All right. Great job. And can you do the same thing, but on your tummy? So, floating on your tummy. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Let's go over to the set. Nice. Okay. That covers two points then. You can stand by yourself, you can lie by yourself, you can float by yourself, you can sit by yourself. And you're able to breathe slash hum. So our basics are covered. Let's just do that two more times. Just 
Ja, ik ben blij dat ik het woord You guys, <laughs> learning any new skill is a lot. When you see somebody learning something new, yeah. applaud them because it's quite a lot. Okay, don't go yet. I'll show you first okay. and then I'll come back. We'll glue your two feet to the other wall. Squeeze your ears just like you did with um, um, gliding. But now here's the thing that changes the whole game. The angle of your head and arms. You don't want to point directly down because then you're going to hit the floor. I want you to point almost forward and then you lean forward. Hey guys, it's a new day. I needed that experience because it made me realize that I can actually swim. But the reason I feel like I can't swim is because I lack so much self-confidence when I'm in the water. I'm not comfortable at all. My relationship with water is just, it needs a lot of work. But I actually can swim. I just need to work on my confidence. Right now, we are at the salon. Um, the boys are already inside doing their hair. And then I am, I still need to do mine. I'm wearing this wig. I haven't worn this wig in like years. It honestly feels like a hat because it was just packed away in the cupboard and just I didn't even do anything to it. I just put it on my head because I tried to unbraid my hair last night but then it was a lot. So it's like a lot of unfinished business here. I'm gonna ask the lady to just help me finish unbraiding my hair and then yeah. And then uh, she's going to wash it and then get braided. So I initially planned on going to this other hair salon because the person, Emma, the lady who normally does my hair, is not available and I really need to get my hair done. And I don't want to like wear a wig or anything like that that needs maintenance. I actually need braids so that when I'm in the water, I don't feel like I don't want to swim because of my hair so the lady I went to like the salon that I initially went to straight back guys for 800 really excluding hippies I'm just like oh my gosh I'm not your target market mm -mm. <laughs> so I came to this other salon and they're a little bit cheaper so it's like 500 with their own hippies so yeah, I'm here, 
I'm gonna sort out my hair. I just wanted to update you guys. I feel so stressed actually. This whole day has just been a lot because I had so much to do. I still have so much to do with so little time. We are leaving very early on Saturday morning and I am i don't know if I'm gonna be able to get everything done. I also had a sheet in order for swimsuits. It hasn't arrived. I think I'm just gonna wear some of my old swimsuits or go buy something tomorrow. I have this meeting in the morning. Oh guys, it's a lot. Yo. I have to go buy swimming stuff and some clothes for the boys. Get my nails done. My nails are still not done. And I don't know if I trust these people to do a proper job on my nails. I have to prepare for Sandile's birthday lunch. So tomorrow is, is Sandile's actual birthday. So we're having lunch and we invited a couple of um of his friends and obviously i have to be paid that i don't know oh my gosh guys this is a lot but anyway just wanted to update you i'm not okay but i'll be fine i'll see you guys later next time you see me my hair will probably be done i hope this lady does an awesome job on my hair if i'm gonna pay this much but yeah i hope she does the work i hope i love it but we'll see check you guys later i hope you guys are still enjoying this vlog and cool you guys this lady has started my hair and she's not giving me what i wanted I am not okay. This is why I don't like salons because now I don't even know how she's going to react when I tell her that I'm not happy with what she did. Yeah, I'm not okay. So I just went to get something from the car and I'm not okay with my hair. I showed her a picture and she said she can do it, but she's doing something completely different. I was panicking. <laughs>